and really building compliance uh, by design from the very beginning to make sure that as we have this unparalleled data set uh, based on you know having all these workers in 140 countries uh, that we can draw upon to provide those insights, that we protect that data, that we uh, anonymize it where possible, that we uh, use the minimum amount of data to achieve those insights and to power that, uh, and, and do that in a, what I would say is a safe, secure, and compliant way. We've not talked a lot about security here, but you have to make sure that you protect against things like prompt injection attacks. You have to protect uh, against uh, bugs that may come in uh, from others. You have to make sure that uh, the AI isn't going to go act in a way that's outside the constraints that you want to put across it. And so all of that goes into our compliance program. It starts with our AI and Data Ethics Council that comprises experts within the company and experts outside of the company to go look at you know, novel uses of data, how do we think about them from an ethical perspective, and to make sure that we have the overall appropriate governance in place. It goes to our governance review process that involves our friends in the Global Security Organization, involves global compliance, involves legal, involves the Chief Data Office. Uh, all coming together to look at all of these different aspects of our ethical principles, our regulatory obligations, and most importantly, are we providing something to our clients that gives them insights, that has the right degree of accuracy, and will enable them to meet their compliance obligations. And then on top of all of that, once you have that governance process, there actually are tools you can use to help enforce this, whether to track what data goes to and from models, whether to do model and code scanning for vulnerabilities. And when you bring all that together, that's how we've approached this uh, to make sure that we do this in a safe, secure, and responsible manner. I think, though, I, you know, we are very lucky to have um, worked on and helped develop you know that mm. that sort of amazing structure, and you know we had the the AI and Data Ethics Council has been in place for for actually for years because mm. we've been working with artificial intelligence for years. But for a company that's starting out and thinking about how to do this, um, the cross functional team, right? That's formal or informal. You can get a cross functional team of people in your organization to start thinking about about those issues and reviewing use cases. Um, you know, security experts within your organization. We have um, you know an amazing global security office, right? But for other companies, think about how you can bring in that security element and that review to what you're doing. And maybe it's not necessarily as robust as ours, right? But um, or robust as our, our system. But I think there are definitely ways for smaller companies to start. With a diverse set of voices. Yeah, yeah. and I think that that's a it's a good point because even even this this group and and our, our colleagues across uh, ADP, like there, there's there's been processes in place to be able to do the, the types of legal reviews, security reviews, privacy reviews, compliance reviews. Uh, of, of what we've been building software for a long time, right? But now uh, the, the speed of change and also the, the, the way in which these technologies have come out, that we've actually take those processes and help them see better kind of interconnections between the processes because also there, there, there's more demand for wanting to do, to do this across our organization. There's so many ways we can unlock potential for our customers. And so it's created greater you know, transparency, efficiencies, collaboration between groups. And I think the point of bringing this, but you need that cross-functional team, right? No one group can do this on their own. And that's so important to actually you know, bringing responsible AI into practice in the way that, that we put products to market.